folks, I'm Tom Basso and welcome to Best of Designers. Today we're taking a look at Mike Fitzgerald. Now Mike Fitzgerald is known for two things. One, he's kind of like a grandfather of board game design to some degree. He was very highly involved in the collectible card movement when it came around. In fact, Wyvern is probably his most famous game. He also did, you know, uh, WCW, uh, X-Men trading card games. And so he has worked with a lot of people who've become big name designs in the business. Uh, he's a very, very friendly person, goes around to conventions, is always talking to designers. If you talk to any designer, Richard Garfield, all these people, they know Mike Fitzgerald. Mike Fitzgerald is also known for taking Rummy and really making Rummy his own. It's his own game, you know, where he has done different variants on Rummy. And in fact, most of Mike's games, and uh, just recently he came out with a board game this past year, but until that point, most of his games have been card games. He's a really fun person to play games against. He's one of the best game teachers that I've ever sat under. And so today I'm going to talk about my top five favorite games from Mike Fitzgerald. Number five is Wide Air. Now this one's the lowest on my list, although for many people this is his magna opus. Uh, uh, taking Rummy, adding a Western theme to it, um, uh, kind of like this, almost like a, it has a shootout type feel to it, a poker type thing, but it actually is Rummy. That's Wyatt Earp. Number four is Huya Navy Seals Card Game. Now, this is a cooperative game in which you are a group of SEALs going to do different missions together. It's not a... It sounds like it could be a darker theme than it is. It's not. It's very patriotic, you know, and as you're going through to accomplish these missions and get your team in and out, it's not It's not easy. Most cooperative games should not be. Um, and it's not big and grandiose. Again, it's a card game that uh, kind of almost masquerades as a board game, but it's a good one. Hoo-yah, Navy SEALs card game. Number three... And I really, I could have did a number, I guess I could have did his top eight. I'm putting together the Mystery Rummy series. I believe there are five of them. My three favorite are the newest one, Escape from Alcatraz, the original one, Jack the Ripper, and then my favorite of the group is Al Capone. I think Al Capone might be my favorite because I like the mobster theme. It's also one of the more simple ones. Uh, with these games, he took Mystery Rummy, or I'm sorry, he's, it's called Mystery Rummy, he took Rummy, and add it to a few rules to it, a card that you might not want to get at all, but it's still kind of the whole gather a bunch of cards, lay cards down in front of you. But each one has a different feel to it, and they are a lot of fun. The Mystery Rummy series. Number two is a game he did a few years ago where he jumped into the trick-taking genre. We have hearts, we have spades. Well, he decided to do diamonds. One of the things I like about diamonds as a trick-taking is that each suit has kind of like a special ability. The whole goal of this game is to gather up diamonds, actual little gems, but it has the feel of a classic trick-taking game and is different than many of the other games that are out there. But my favorite game for Mike Fitzgerald is another card game that, again, is on a board and stuff, so it's more, I guess, board game than card game and that is Baseball Highlights. Now, whether you're a baseball fan or not, I am a big baseball fan, and whether you think the theme is funny or not because it takes place in the future, it's Baseball Highlights 2045, and there's cyborgs and androids playing baseball too. The fact is, is this is a very good... It starts out almost like war, in a sense, where you're playing cards and trying to block each other and score a game. You play a game of games very quickly. But over the course of a season, you are building up your team. You are recruiting more players for your team. And it is just a ton of fun. Really like this game. Even if you don't like baseball, a lot of people still enjoy it. That's Baseball Highlights 2045. Those are my favorite games from Mike Fitzgerald. He's a good friend. I really enjoy when I get to conventions. He's certainly one of the folks I like to hang out with a lot. Has a lot of good insight in the industry. What are your favorite games? Tell me in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Tom Bass, and you've been watching Best of Designers, Mike Fitzgerald. Mm -hmm.